Hello, welcome to another dynamic do-it-yourself video. And today for Tasty Finds with... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tank Man Joe. There you go. Okay, we're still in the middle of quarantine and um, we still are trying our best to stay safe and stay healthy. And I hope you're doing the same out there because by the time of this uh, recording, we do not have um, a vaccine. So, you know, wherever you are, be safe. Okay, so um, before we get started on this Tasty Finds, um, like if you would, you know, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up. The thumbs up button really helps this channel get some traction. Um, and um, we did take a month off um, it's been hot as Hades <laughs> and when it's really hot the last thing you want to do is do anything <laughs> uh, well no truth just had to take some time off um, for you know just some time so self-care and all that right those are the buzzwords so let's get started um, this is a, something that I picked up at Trader Joe's. Um, these are protein bars and they are called barbells. So for those of you who know what a barbell is, no, we're not going to start curling these, you know, start getting them guns ready. <laughs> yeah, we're not working on a summer body because, um, <laughs> Summer is almost over, but these are called barbells. I have caramel cashew or caramel cashew. And what do you have, Tank? I have cookies and cream. Cookies and cream. So um, let's go ahead and give these a try. These were picked up at Trader Joe's. I believe they were nearly like around $2. It's a dollar and some change for these. So which one would you like to try first? Cookies and cream. We're gonna go for cookies and cream, okay? And um, before I open it up, just give you some information about these. One bar. Oh, there it is. I don't want to be like I don't want to be like somebody holding something upside down. Okay. Um, here we are, cookies and cream. 200 calories for one bar. The purpose of a um, the purpose of a um, protein bar and I'm telling you this tank mm -hmm. a lot of people get these because if you're exercising you're doing some kind of long hike or a trek a trek or you know you're going to be away from getting some proper nutrition what you would like to do is to fortify the body you get you a protein bar and think of this more as a meal replacement Okay, so good health, protein, keeps you going, builds your muscles, but um, in all accounts, it's always best, it's always best to eat your protein from sources like, you know. Protein bars. No. <laughs> Meat, you know, natural sources. This kind of contrived thing is not something you wanna take lightly. Anyway, this bar is 200 calories. Um, 20 grams of protein in it. Sugar, we have three grams of, um, no, one gram of total sugar. So um, let's see what this is gonna taste like because it's not gonna be very sweet. Anyway, 17 grams of carbs, total carbs all together. And seven grams of fat. So that's what we're looking at here. So we're gonna go ahead and try this. So what do you think, Tank? Uh, I think it's going to be nasty. <laughs> Look at it. It looks like it has a bug infestation. <laughs> it looks like it has Rice Krispies or something all over it. That looks like it. a bug infestation. Actually, the way this looks, it's oh, making me want to itch. <laughs> that's
I need this for safety. <sighs> okay, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and try this. All right. Since we're in quarantine and, um, you know, you want to try to stay indoors as much as possible. Here you go, Tank. Something like this might be, make me the difference between going hungry and being satisfied. You ready to taste it? Yeah. I'm smelling it. I smell the chocolate. Okay. I'm gonna save some here, the rest of it, and put it back in the package. So that was the cookies and cream. So what do you think? That didn't taste like cookies and cream at all. On a scale of one it, to four, mm -hmm. go ahead. I'll give it a one. You give it a one? That didn't even taste like chocolate. That, it tastes like a bad Tootsie Roll. That's the best way to explain mm, the taste. You don't want to slam the Tootsie Roll like that. Oh. Um, okay. <laughs> well, Tootsie Rolls are nasty. He's right about the chocolate. It tastes like carob. When I was growing up, a child of the 70s, you know, a lot of housewives bought into the whole thing of like, well, chocolate is bad, let's eat carob. That tasted like carob. Scale of one to four. Four meaning I'll buy it again for my personal consumption. A one meaning I'll give this a hard pass. The taste is not bad. I have had worse. I've had protein bars that actually tasted like I was eating flavored hay. <laughs> <laughs> I am not joking about that. But you know, there's sometimes there's some it just tastes dry and just, you know, I'm gonna try to get this fiber in you some way and this protein in you some way and it just tasted terrible. This is not a bad tasting bar, but to be truth, yes, yeah, one of my fingernails are not painted. Anyway, to give you, to tell you the truth, it's not bad, but um, as a, I will give this a definite one. I might give it, I'll, I'll take that back. I will give it a two. I probably might pick it up if I was on a long road trip and I am, you know, counting calories or something, you know, I don't know. It's not that bad. It's just, I prefer my protein in other ways. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the caramel cashew we're going to try next. Another barbell. Oh, and by the way, it's 1.94 net weight okay that's the ounces right there so and on the back one gram of sugar all right and the protein 20 grams of protein so we have um about the same amount of protein yes yeah, the other one had um 20 grams too so let's give this a try now what do you think about this cashew oh Looks like it has a bunch of rocks and beds into it. You know, this looks like those, um, whatchamacallit bars. When I was oh, a kid, like in the 80s, there's this bar called the whatchamacallit. Oh, they can think of a name, so I'm like, whatchamacallit. <laughs> well, back in the day. And they were like. It was, a, it was one of those um, trendy words that kids used to say. Whatchamacallit. I saw whatchamacallit over there, and whatchamacallit said, and he picked up the whatchamacallit. Yeah, very articulate. Anyway, so um, here we go. This is what it looks like. I don't know if we gave a close up of what the other one looked like. I don't think so. But anyway, all right. Bon appetit. Hmm. Okay. I see what's happening here on a scale of one to four with um, four meaning once again I'll buy this again for my personal consumption and a one meaning I'll give it a hard pass the caramel cashew got a four for me yes 
tasted good. I don't, I mean, it has a, I'm not a big fan of caramel, but the taste made this, I like it. I will get it again. If I was roaming through Trader Joe's and I was hungry and I didn't want to um, walk out of the store hangry, <laughs> I probably would pick this up. Go ahead, what do you give it, Tank? Mm. It tastes like, it tastes like a Milky Way bar. There you go, I but love nasty. Milky Way. <laughs> He's serious. I give it a one. No, I give it a zero. It was worse than the other one. Really? Yeah. The other one tried too hard. Like it was trying uh, to be something. Uh, yeah. Like this one is trying to be something that it isn't. This is nasty. I would not recommend it at all. And just for the cookies and cream, I'll give you an idea of what it looked like inside. There you go. I think because this one tasted so much like carob, it bumped me. And I just had memories of my childhood being told that this was carob was just like chocolate. It does, that doesn't the even lies, taste like caramel. The lies. That was sweet. Okay, this was. Yeah, they put sugar in it. That's caramel. And this right? was. No. I told you how much sugar it had in it. It only had one gram of sugar. Actually, let me do a deep dive. What is taking the sugar? That actually says they put sugar in this tank. Sucralose. <laughs> Sucralose. Okay. What's there that? you go. That's a, a, sh a sugar. A kind of a sugar. Of sugar. Malitol. Sugar. Malitol, which is um, like a fake sugar. So, I mean, fake it's... sugar. <laughs> it, these are sugar-like. Anyway. Like, not sugar. Okay. <laughs> okay, so anyway, that's it. Um, you know, hey, like I said, they're not bad, all right? My taste, I like the caramel cashew. And what did you give this again? You gave it a zero? Yeah. Wow, okay. So, there you have it, Mr. Picky. I wouldn't get any of these. That's good. Continue eating good food. Yes, I will. Real food. Yes, I will. And I'll say that same for you. Continue eating real food. But, just in case you're in the mood for some Franken food, don't get that. Yeah, these are get something else. <laughs> so on that note, I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time.